everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I was just going to do some uh, tilling this morning, but the sky don't look like it's going to cooperate, it's already started like drizzling and stuff, and you know, I don't want to be out here on a tiller in the rain any more than I'd want to be on a tractor in the rain. So anyway, I'm going to show you what's going on real quick on the pallet. Now these are all mustard greens um, coming out right here. I've got a little bit of kale um, planted further down. These are not kale or mustard greens. These are weeds. The Swiss chard, um, I've kind of thinned it out a little bit. And some of it's just kind of peeking underneath the pallet right now. When it gets a little bit bigger, it'll push its way out. That's my hope anyway. <laughs> There's also grass and weeds in here too, which, you know, they're not in the the part of the pallet that's been covered by a landscape cloth. It's just they're on the outside and kind of going sideways and stuff. Weeds are persistent. I still don't know what this is. I don't know if I planted it and forgot, like, because I had a wildflower mix that I put in a pink bucket, and then the wildflowers didn't grow. And so I decided I'd put rooster combs in here. And my rooster combs grew, and they're gone. And now look inside there. There's leaves that look like this thing. Do you know what this is? Can anybody identify this thing? I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a wildflower. <laughs> it might be something that was inside the wildflower seed packet and just grew because this was here. It had to be here at least a year now. So this thing, whatever it is, is a year old. I've got various tomatoes here that I had um, bought. These are, well, except for this pepper here. I think that's a jalapeno, I'm not sure, inside the solo cup. But I did buy a few peppers when the Bonnie Man, the Bonnie Man, the Bonnie Plant Man came out. I've still got some carrots I have not harvested yet. And I'm just going to leave them in a little bit longer because they've gotten thicker. So, you all wanted to know what happened to my sweet potatoes in the bucket. This is the one that did not uh, get the little fungus gnats all over it. And it is now outside in the bucket. I don't know what's underneath it, but we're going to see what happens. A little bit of the ice got to it because, you know, I forget things <laughs> sometimes. But, uh, yeah, there's just a few brown leaves. The rest of it, I mean, it's actually growing so well, so nice. I'm so happy. This is a type of lettuce that I forgot um, what it was. And I let it grow over the winter. And it's going to seed, so I'm going to collect those seeds. I can't remember right now. It was a, a free kind that I'd gotten from, uh, uh, what do you call that place? Darn it, what's the name of that place? Uh, Baker Creek Seed. Wow, my mind's gone, completely gone. All right, this here, well, there's a jumping spider in it. This was supposed to be celery, and I even see a little bit of celery seed out here. But I have no idea why it didn't become celery celery. It smells like celery. You can pull these leaves, and they smell like celery, but there's no thick stalk in there to eat. Oh look, there's one of my carrots the horses didn't eat. The first sunflowers have started popping out in front of the corn. This one's kind of turned yellow already. I'm probably going to have to spray them with my little neem or soap spray or something because I bet things have already started sucking on it. I'm trying to stop it before it starts. Yeah, there's another one that hasn't opened up yet. 